So here we want to uh, get an expression for the electric potential due to an infinite sheet of charge. Uh, so this represents a sheet of charge. You can imagine it going in all directions. It's a very large sheet of charge placed in the yz plane. So we, here we are assuming z is coming out and x is to the right and then y is upward. Um, so we already know everything there is to know for about the electric field here. We know it's uniform, it's a constant, as long as you don't go too close to the edges of the sheet and it's a large sheet anyway. So we have seen that the electric field, uh, if it's a non-conducting sheet, it's sigma over two epsilon zero points to the right, to the right of it and points to the left, to the left of it, right? And if I try to plot uh, the x component of the electric field, which is the only component we have here as a function of x, uh, you can see there is a discontinuity in the electric field. Um, it's negative sigma by 2 epsilon 0 for x negative and positive sigma by 2 epsilon 0. Uh, so the electric field sort of jumps by an amount of sigma by epsilon 0. That's the discontinuity in the electric field right at the surface. So the surface is at x equals 0, right? So now uh, for this problem, it doesn't make sense to have infinity as our reference point because it's an infinite sheet of charge. So even the charge goes to infinity. So it makes more sense to take a different uh, reference point. Uh, we'll take this sheet itself as our reference point and arbitrarily we choose some potential for that. So let's say let uh, V0 uh, be the potential of this sheet, okay? So that's just some, it's like saying, let it be so many volts, 100 volts or 1000 volts, it's up to you, it doesn't matter because voltage by itself doesn't have a meaning, it's the potential difference uh, that has a meaning. So given that the surface has a potential of V0, then what is the potential at point P, right? So one thing we do know is that um, potential drops in the direction of the electric field. So it should get smaller and smaller as I go farther away from the sheet uh, in both directions, right? So let's first do for X positive. So for X positive, I can say uh, that I'm going to use uh, delta V equals integral E dot DL. That's the easiest uh, thing to use. So uh, let's say I decide to go from the surface to the point. So I'm looking at the difference between those two. So delta V, uh, this is potential at point P minus potential of the surface, uh, which is V0, that's what we call it, right? Uh, that should be equal to negative integral E dot DL, uh, but E happens to be sigma by 2 epsilon 0 in the I hat direction dotted with dl, uh, because I'm going from the surface to the point, my dl vector points this way as well in the x direction, right? So my dl is, I can call it just dx in the positive i direction, right? So it's dx times i. I'm going from the surface, that is x equals 0, to the point, you know, up to point p, which is, which is at x, right? So, so this is actually, I, can, I could have called it just instead of point P, I could have said zero to X. Okay, so it's from zero to X and I dot I is just one. So this ends up being just uh, negative sigma by two epsilon zero. Um, integral DX will just give me an X, right? So, so that's it. So I can write this down as V at point P is equal to V zero. Um, if I bring it to the other side, minus sigma by 2 epsilon 0 times x, you see? So, so that's the potential at any point x. Um, so if you want, you can take off the p here. This is just v at any x, v of x is given by this, right? So that's your potential for x positive, right? This is for x positive. And you can show in a similar way that if you do a similar kind of calculation, uh, V would be equal to potential of the sheet plus sigma by 2 epsilon 0 times X. And that is the potential for X negative. Okay, so that's for X negative. Okay, so with that, um, I can actually uh, plot it. This is something we intuitively expected. 
uh, now we have um, sorry i think i'll uh, try to get a better um see i'll get rid of that i can try to draw a better uh, picture um, a better graph i mean so if i try to uh, plot potential versus you know potential versus um x right so i can um, getting the x and y axis here right so this is uh keep it somewhere here so that's my y axis And um, I have to um, let's see. I'll get let's get this pen. So so it's p not minus something. So this is how it will be. Maybe I'll draw it uh, at some angle. Forty-five would be fine. It doesn't have to be that much, but maybe fifty degrees. Uh, got it here. So so v can be drawn like this. So that is for x positive, it starts with v naught as a maximum where, where I started. And then now I need to um, do it at uh, for x negative. So that will be something like that. And it will drop as you go away. So this is how the potential drops in the other direction. Right. Okay, that's good. So so now I can say uh, this is uh, v as a function of x, and this is v naught. That's the potential at the uh, at the surface, and the electric field, you know, it drops at a rate. The slope of this is your negative is uh, negative sigma by two epsilon zero. And then slope here is positive sigma by 2 epsilon 0. 